all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy different type of video different type of feel different type of vibe we got some news coming from the marvel future fight youtube channel and i wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on this thing it was released yesterday i seen it this morning when i woke up and the title got me interested right future fight news number two because they released one of these before i watched it i didn't make a reaction to it but then i got a bunch of people hitting me up asking me how i was feeling in regards to that one so instead of answering everybody individually every single time they do one of these because seeing as though this is the second one i'm assuming there will be more in the future i figured i'll just go ahead and give you guys my reaction that way i can answer as many people as possible without having to go through hundreds of dms on discord okay so future fight news number two gm confirmed you've said that it's okay to tell everything interesting okay very very interesting title so let's actually see what they're going to be telling us and what everything entails now this entire video is in korean right there's bits and pieces that is in english but for the most part it's in korean so what we're gonna do is turn on captions okay we're gonna turn on closed captions that way we can read the subtitles and i can give you guys my feedback now obviously the subtitles won't be a hundred percent correct but it will give us the general feel the general idea of what these guys are saying and what they're trying to convey to us keep in mind these are some of the people behind future fight the brains if you will so it should be interesting to see what they want to tell us this time around <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where is my caption? <laughs> what the? What? <laughs> okay. Hold on, the volume is kind of low. Let me turn this up. Oh, it's maxed here. Might be my computer. One sec, guys. All right, so let's continue. Still no caption. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. okay, so basically they're reading the comments from their last video. Did you keep your dog's sound so carefully? I'm confused. What does this have to do with the game? These guys doesn't play their own game. I can tell from their faces. Really, you can tell all that from their faces. Now, I'm a firm believer that 90% of the people who work on Marvel Future Fight don't play the game. Or at the very least, they don't play the game enough or play it on a daily basis. They play it from a testing perspective where we play it one or two times to make sure that things work correctly, right? And then after that, they just put it out in the wild and then they go on to basically counting their money, getting their back, right? Because if they were playing it as consistent as we are, right? they would understand our frustration and we would get faster and more like effective like improvements to the game right so i agree a hundred percent with this person right although i can't tell that from their faces right <laughs> anyways do you two actually play marvel future fight now we have a question about her two mcs okay Okay, I do it three or four hours a day. Bro, if you're playing Future Fight for three or four hours a day and you don't see the problems that we have with the game right now where we need content badly, bro, you are not playing the game for more than three or four minutes a day. That's facts, right? That's facts. Because that's more than the average player. <laughs> Bro, we need an exact time frame, a little bit less. So he's doing three or four hours a day and you're doing a little bit less. So let's say two hours, one to two hours a day. Still, you guys, bro. If everybody on the team was playing that much, we would have more better. Honestly, you know, whatever. We would have better improvements. That's just facts. Character rework is hard. So we do them once a year. Yet you pump out two to three new characters every update slash month. And that's not including in uniform reworks. Facts, bro. Facts. 
Facts. This guy, yo, shout out to this guy, bro. I don't know the Blur Brothers name, but he has a Cyclops icon, bro. Cyclops was right. Okay, this man is definitely telling the truth. They're BSing us when they tell us that reworks are hard. That's why they do it once or twice a year. Because they literally give us uniform reworks every update and make new characters from scratch, which you would think is much harder to do than a character rework. Because a character rework, you already have the base, you can just improve upon that. Whereas a new character, you are building from scratch, right? Technically, even though they rip off certain skills from certain characters in the game. So, whatever. Point is, you know they lie. Alright. I thought Yoko is so hard, so we do. I think you're saying that character rework is very slow now. He, he said it very clearly. Please rework Wolverine. Hashtag justice for Wolverine. That's like justice for Storm. Anyway. For this opinion, MC Monday will communicate with the developers about the next plan. No matter how hard it is. Oh, yo, this is actually the truth, though. I've been saying this for a while. A lot of people have been saying that. Why don't they create a DC version of Future Fight? So many people would buy into that, right? Even though at some point it might just eventually end up to be where at Future Fight is. Like, where it's just, like, lots of characters, not much content. But it would take a while to get there. I would definitely play if they made it, right? We'll see, though. Rework some... Mutants like Emma Frost, bro. They've given Emma Frost multiple uniforms. If if the uniforms are still trash, bro, you think a rework is gonna make Emma Frost better? Look at Odin. They reworked Odin, and Odin's base kit rework is trash. But the uniform is godly, right? Because the uniform makes more money than a base kit rework, bro. But Emma Frost is actually a character that's super expensive, so yeah, they could rework her. Right, and still make money without selling a uniform, but 90% chance if they rework Emma Frost, it's it's a rework via a uniform. Okay? That's just facts. Iceman 2, magic, they tried it with magic, you know what I'm saying? They failed. Storm uniform, it's alright, not that great, but it's alright. Alright? Anyways. Dormammu. How good a character is. This character is so powerful that it cannot be realized. But that's facts. So because Dormammu is so powerful, these guys do not know how to make him strong in future fights. So they just keep him as a trash character. <laughs> Man, they go sell him for crystals. Right? Anyway. Did it? Let me go back here. Let, let, let me just see what this man said. Well, Odin's reworked this time. Odin got a uniform, fam. You guys, Odin got a uniform no different than every other update when you guys released a uniform for a character. Please stop. Yo, the next person that tells me that Odin got a rework so we should be happy... I'm going to punch you, bro. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> I'm going to punch you through the computer screen, bro. Like, for real. Odin's rework is trash compared to where it's supposed to be. If a character is getting a rework in 2020, they should be where other characters come in. New characters in 2020. That's facts, bro. Odin's rework is not on the level of somebody like Gladiator or Beta Ray Bill. Like, the base kit. You need the uniform for that. So the rework was a, just a waste of time, right? It was literally just a waste of time. I, 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 what I see right now at face value, the, the freaking rework poll is just a BS opportunity for them to say, okay, who are you guys most willing to buy a uniform for, right? It's not realistically about reworking a character so you can like play with them and they can keep up with today's meta without the uniform. Anybody feel like differently, man? Whatever, you're blind to the truth. It's all, it's all a scam. I think at least six character rework a year is necessary. Yeah, if you were actually gonna rework the base kit and make the base kit on par with some of the new characters coming in, right? But if at the end of the day, if you rework the character and you take them from zero to like, I don't know, 50 or 60% of what new characters get, and then give them a uniform to make them 150%, you know 
know what I'm saying? It, it's just, it's, it's pointless. The rework is literally pointless. It's just a waste of time. Might as well not even have the polling event about a rework. Just say, hey, vote for which uniform you want us to sell you, baby. We're going to put everything on the uniform and don't even worry about the base kit because we've already made our money off that. Or if we haven't yet, you're going to buy the character for dollars or for crystals and then you're going to buy the uniform on top. ka -ching! Get that bag. That's basically it. I'm not saying, listen to me guys, I know some of you guys think I'm super salty right now. I'm not saying they shouldn't rework characters and stuff, but I'm saying if they're gonna commit to a rework, at least make it feel legit. Make it feel as though it wasn't just a scam to sell a uniform, right? Make it feel as though, yes, these characters can keep up with today's meta, not dominate, not dominate. I'm not asking for them to be the best character in the game without a uniform, obviously not. I'm just saying, I want it to feel as though you committed to a rework that players voted for and you gave it as much as you could possibly give it to keep up with the new characters that you are bringing in, right? Again, you guys, some of you guys is gonna go over your head because you're too young and you don't realize, right? But it's all good, man. You can just keep buying these uniforms. I don't have a problem buying. I buy everything regardless, but a lot of y'all are free to play and you guys are the ones getting shafted by these character rework events, right? If they're gonna say, we're gonna rework a base kit for a character and they short, they sure change you on that and you're just happy because they got a uniform that's good, what does that tell you? Basically, every time there's a rework, it means the rework is gonna end up being 60% of what new characters around the same level of that particular character is, like our Odin tier two native. If we're getting a tier two native like Gladiator or Beta Rebuild, I expect Odin to be about 80 or 90, maybe 100% like on par with those characters because he costs about the same, right? That's what I expect. So if Ghost Rider is getting a rework in 2020, I expect him to keep up with some of the new characters around his level, so new free to play characters that costs regular Shadowland bios. I expect if Ghost Rider is getting a rework, his rework to keep up with some of those characters. And then when he gets a uniform, I expect him to keep up with what a new character with a new uniform would ideally be performing at. It's just my expectations. Is that so unrealistic? I'm just saying, we only have a minute in this and I'm getting triggered, bro. Why? Why am I so triggered? <sighs> Character rework is necessary. Yes, you make money from every update selling new characters in new uniforms. Giving one rework every two months for free to your free to play community that ride or die with you. Some of them too ignorant to see that you are willing to freaking shaft them to keep making money. Yes, they deserve one rework for an old trash ass character every two months. Shouldn't we lower the third round of squad battle difficulty? No. We need more difficult content. It's really hard to... You told me to save Inhumans. Maybe you guys should start listening to your players' wishes about Inhumans, Street Vigilante, Wasted Characters like Dormammu, and Odin, etc. So they, kind of, they listened to Odin, right? They gave us a good, really good Odin uniform but the base kit rework was just a sham, right? So Dormammu, expect the same thing for Dormammu, by the way. Expect Dormammu to get a rework, right? Because they're pumping his name so much right now. Expect Dormammu to get a rework, but expect his base kit rework to be underwhelming in today's meta, right? Don't expect him to be keeping up with the likes of Beta Ray Bill or Gladiator or anybody that we got in the last year or so. Don't expect him to keep up a base kit, right? Don't expect it. But if it happens, I would be very happy. Okay? So we'll see what happens. I would love my guy Black Agar Boltagon, aka Black Bolt, the king, right? To finally get some justice. We're almost like, what? Almost six years in. Well, five and a half ish, right? So yeah, we need, we need a Black Bolt tier three. We need a Black Bolt uniform. You know what I'm saying?
퓨린이 오랜만이다. 아 살아 있었냐? 퓨린이 계정 비밀번호 안 잊어먹었다. 아? 얼마 만이냐? 사람이 well, well, 반응이 okay. 굉장히 오랜만에 본 사람처럼 네, 놀라움을 okay. 표현해주고 계십니다. 저희 CM 퓨린이님이 어, 굉장히 활동하신 지좀 오래 okay. 계시죠. I thought this was going to be all about the game. 아주 미스테리하신 분입니다. <웃음> That's funny. That's actually okay. I like the edits. I like it. 월보를 이상하게 만들지 말라. Please don't make raw boss weird. Okay. 오 해달라. 저 같은 경우도 50단계 정말 쉽게 클리어 했는데 Even in the case of me, it was really easy to clear up to step 50 or stage 50 of world boss. Interesting. So don't you guys think you should make it um, so that when you go past 50, when it gets even harder, that the rewards are a little bit better, my guy? Right? Just so Because like sometimes I literally clear stages like one, right? Like if I'm low on time and Thanos is my boss of the day, I'm saying I just go and I clear stage one and I rack up like, I don't know, 150 CCF if I'm really lucky. Like sometimes it's anywhere from like 50 to like 80, but sometimes I, I get so much CCF, double CCF job from running level one. And then some days I'll push all the way up into the 40s against Thanos, right? And I walk away with 20. Nani, right? <laughs> like it just doesn't make sense to me, right? The RNG is just so shitty sometimes, but it'd be like that. I mean, I guess the good balances out the bad, but whatever. Don't touch world boss no more. Go go work on different content, i.e. PvP. You told us about our danger room. Okay. Danger room is PvP content, yeah. It's a very sensitive part. We take our opinions deeply. I will tell you once. There's lots of... Okay, you guys kind of just skimmed over the danger room thing, but I guess we'll see, see what happens. Okay. So that's basically all I had to say. So something might be coming really soon for danger room. I'm, ex I'm expecting it to be the extreme. They did say... They'll give us the opportunity to play with our own characters. Hopefully the rewards are better or there's a higher chance of getting the rare biometrics for people like Abomination, Professor Rich, Rachel, Negasonic, etc. Right? I, I would be willing to play those game modes. You know what I'm saying? Well, not game modes, but that particular game mode, right? Extreme danger room with my own character if it meant I got a higher chance of getting those premium bios. Right? Alright, let's go. Okay, so they're just talking about their camera presence and stuff. Everybody's awkward on camera. Bro, I've been doing this for years. I'm still awkward as hell. I don't give a crap. YouTube is about people, real people. Not about being perfect. 보다 소통하고 싶은 컨텐츠로 만들고 싶기 때문에 이 편에서는 이슈 위주로 선택을 하여서 에이전트 분들의 가려움도 okay. 많이 긁어드릴 수 있도록 하겠습니다. 네, 그럼 지금부터 피파너스 시작합니다. Okay, so this is the real Marvel Future Fight news. Eh? Okay, let's see what you're saying now. Okay, so Star Lord. Okay. Oh yes, it's tier three without enhancing equipment. Oh, what? Oh, they're gonna yes, yes, good, good. So, oh yes. Oh. 잠깐만요. 스타로드는 왜 장비 강화가 25... Why is Star Lord's equipment? Yeah, reinforcement not 25. Everybody with a tier three. The thing is, they can't do it now. I was gonna say everybody with a tier three Star Lord deserves to have their gears immediately pushed up to 25. Right? That's just BS, bro. It's actually BS. But then again, some people have already just kind of bite the bullet and just pushed it up to 25. So would those people get comped anything? I don't know. So I feel like we're just kind of stuck with them at 20 or just pushing them up to 25 if we want to. Even at gear 20, Star Lord is still really good, right? Not promo on this for these guys, but even at gear 20, as long as he's at tier 3, um, he actually slaps. He's really, really powerful, right? But let's see what they have to say. The damage is okay, but okay. Other characters all consume the same ingredients, so the same materials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that they're addressing this. They're not like beating around the bush. This is cool. In the case of Star Lord's Tier 3, Tier 2 can be acquired without. Easier? This is not easier than before, bro. That quest was super hard. Nice try. Nice try, bro. 
각도 티어 3를 경험해 보실 수 있도록 의도해 본 것인데 정작 장비 강화가 안 되어 있어 활용도가 낮다는 의견을 주시는 에이전트님들이 많았습니다. 다음 에픽 퀘스트 등에서는 이러한 부분들을 고려하도록 하겠습니다. So basically, they're gonna reconsider doing that another time, but we just kind of got stuck with them for life like that. Basically, this was a test to see how it would work out, how players would react to it. But ultimately, we not we can't expect anything. Sad life. 이거 성능상 필요 없는 유니폼도 강제로 구매하게 만든 거 아닌가요? 좀 이상하네요. 이렇게 되면은. These are some spicy questions. These are some spicy questions. So yeah, they're talking about the fact that you have to buy trash uniforms to get higher ranks. Right? Because the growth score is affected by all of the uniforms. 월 27일 업데이트를 통해서 착용하지 않은 보유 유니폼의 성장 상태도 Yep, the growth status is affected by all the uniforms you have. They gave the BS excuse that said, Oh, people were being passed in the rankings because other people had a better uniform or whatever. So we want to make it so that every uniform you own affects your growth score. Essentially making it so that you have to buy every single uniform for the character, whether it's good or bad, which is absolutely terrible. Even whales hate it, right? It's, it's just a greedy move, no matter how they try to spin it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Mm 더불어 특정 유니폼을 점수 반영에 제외한다면 이미 특정 유니폼을 구매해서 성장한 에이전트 분들께 오히려 불공정하다고 판단하여 포함시키게 되었습니다. 그리고 코스트라이더는 분명 커뮤니티 내에도 인기 있는 테마인데 왜 원작 반영처럼 안 돼서 저희를 So basically they're going to talk about yo can we get a rework? 커뮤니티에서 인기 있는 So as a much popular theme in the community Punisher Cosmic Ghost Rider modeling skill motion에 대한 이슈가 Skill motion? The issue is not the skill motion. The issue is the survivability fam. Maybe it's the skill motion at the start of the fifth skill where you can actually get one shotted before he goes into the iframe. Maybe that's what they're talking about. If they want to fix that, that's dope. 있는 것을 알고 있습니다. 에이전트님들의 의견을 반영. The effect will be modified to reflect the opinion. Wow, Cosmic Ghost Rider rework. Hello, yo. The effect will be modified to reflect the opinions of the agents. Yes? Yes! Okay, what is this? Oh, this is um Alliance Conquest. I completely forgot about Conquest. Why is there no Alliance Conquest improvements? Mm-hmm. As you all know, Alliance Conquest content is one of the core contents of Marvel Future Fight. No, it's not, okay? It's not. If it was a core piece of content, my friend, I would be playing that. I have not played Conquest in months. It's close to like a year. Like maybe even more since I've actually played it. And longer since I've taken it seriously. Right, so it's not a core piece of content. It's just a piece of trash, an eyesore that I have basically forgotten about. So maybe y'all should fix that. Better the gentleman. You know what I'm saying I think his name is what CM uh, MC Sunday or whatever. Like you know what I'm saying, sounds like a dessert. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. 실시간 PVP 협동전 특성으로 Real time PVP. Yeah, it has some aspects of it. 복잡한 규칙을 가지고 있는 큰 볼륨의 콘텐츠인데요. 이렇게 중요한 콘텐츠임에도 불구하고 각종 오류나 버그들이 있는 점에 대해서는 우선 사과 말씀을 드리겠습니다. Stop apologizing and just fix things. Okay? That's what we want, friend. 점령전의 경우 콘텐츠가 워낙 크다 보니 하나 하나 개선하거나. We plan to improve the entire system. Okay? 나 단순히 보상을 상향한. Instead of fixing individual problems or increasing the rewards. So you're gonna. Okay, rework the entire system, but the rewards have to be improved too. 하는 것이 아닌 전체 시스템적인 개편을 계획하고 있습니다. 중요하고 볼륨이 큰 콘텐츠인 만큼. As it is important and high volume content. Really, is that many people play this? 만반의 조사와 준비를 통해 
확실하게 개선할 수 있도록 노력하겠습니다. 오케이. What is this? 그럼 최근 한달 동안 커뮤니티에서 있었던 일들을 살펴보겠습니다. What's happening in the community? 얼비아나 오디세이가 첫 트로피를 획득했습니다. Oh, this is this is what is this? Nah, I don't I don't care about none of this. None of this stuff. None of this stuff really has to do nothing with future fight and reworks for me. So, yeah, this video has been far too long. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wrap it up right here. You let me know how you are feeling in regards to the feedback. Go check the video out for yourself. Leave your opinion on the video because clearly they are reading the comments, but leave your thoughts here as well so I can know how you are feeling. You know how I'm feeling. I'm 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 hopeful, you know I'm saying I'm hopeful. I like to see that their community like I'm hopeful. I like to see that they're communicating with us more consistently and they're being a bit transparent, not going to lie, right? This guy over here, he was reading some of the actual feedback from players how we are actually feeling. However, will that be taken seriously? Will we actually see fruits from that? We'll have to wait and see. So we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts. Catch you in the next one. Peace.